March 23rd was International Atheist Day and what a glorious day it was. We had lots and lots of gatherings, people holding up atheist signs, events around this day, barbecues, parties, picnics, you name it, um, to celebrate uh, being atheist and also to normalize atheism and to defend atheists who are persecuted because of their free thought. And it was a day that came about um, after discussions with a number of ex-Muslim groups, namely Arab Atheists, uh, the Turkish Atheist Group, Atheist Agnostic Alliance of Pakistan, Atheist Republic, the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain, Council of Ex-Muslims of France, the Council of Ex-Muslims of Jordan and Morocco, Council of Ex-Muslims of Sri Lanka, Ex-Muslims of North America, Ex-Muslims of Norway, Free Thought Lebanon, Muslimish and the Black ducks in Egypt. So a huge number of groups got together. There is an international coalition of ex-Muslims that has been uh, working together now for the past two years to get this day off the ground. And such a wonderful idea. Uh, um, and I think the importance of this day is not only to um, celebrate atheism, but highlight the plight of free thinkers. Because for me, atheism is free thinking, uh, questioning uh, uh, religion's institution, questioning the idea of God Almighty, uh, thinking about that human beings are the ultimate source of uh, change and power um, in in any society, and individuals to be free from superstition and uh, to allow individual uh, thinking to flourish at, at different level. And celebrating this is such a uh, such a beautiful thing to do and I think it's a great idea and you, you could see that in the last uh, on, on 23rd and uh, days before that and after that how people uh, came to celebrate uh, atheism and this day in their own way and everybody did that some people had meetings some people went to parks and wrote various things on the, on the uh, on the ground uh, people had barbecues and I think everybody did uh, you know celebrate this day in their own way? But what it reminded me, Mariam, uh, of the um, the whole campaign on ex-Muslim because, and they gave everybody individualized it, and I think that was so powerful. And I think this atheism uh, day this year clearly had its own uh, unique, and everybody uh, um, came uh, to celebrate it in their own way. Mm, yeah, and it was the first year actually yeah. but it was trending on Twitter and there were really countless people who got involved and again it shows the need of people to one acknowledge that they're atheists particularly because it can be quite difficult to do that not just in countries under Islamic rule but in many many countries including in the West for some people they find it difficult to say that they're atheists uh, but also um, you know uh, so normalizing atheism uh, and also uh, remembering people who are being persecuted for their atheism, you know, in countries, uh, especially countries that are under Islamic rule, where it is punishable by death. So I think it, there are many reasons why this day was important, is important to hold. People will say, well, why do you need the day? Well, why not? You know, there are so many days that are um, for religion and for dogma and for superstition and for self-flagellation and you name it. It's great to have a day that actually represents, you know, free thought and one's freeing their minds from yeah, these yeah. Sort, sort of superstitions. And, 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 and I think it's a, it's a great, uh, um, it's a great idea. Uh, because in, uh, we've seen in many countries, uh, the whole idea of atheism has been recognized and a lot of people are freely atheist and they can declare the atheism. But in many countries, in Islamic written countries and where the religious institution, Christianity uh, or other religions are very strong, uh, to declare oneself openly an atheist is frowned upon and there are so much restrictions and people are persecuted for, for declaring the atheism. And I think it's important uh, to defend the right of individuals and organizations to be able to openly talk about atheism because it's, it's, about, it's the essence of free thinking, is the essence of being able to question dogma, being able to question superstition, being able to allow individuals to flourish as they see fit and that's uh, part, is part of individual 
uh, liberty. And I think this is a really, really important initiative and, and well done for all those organizations who've come to uh, get there and actually declare this day. And hopefully uh, one day, uh, atheism being atheist and a free thinker, it's not perse persecuted and it's, uh, you know, it is not punishable. I mean, something that people could benefit and enjoy freely. Yeah, and uh, we'd like to end with a song by Shelley Segal, an Australian atheist who herself comes from a Jewish background, who wrote an anthem for ex-Muslims and atheists and uh, she sang it on this day at our event in London and it's called On Our Way to Freedom. So stay with us and listen to her wonderful song. To follow and obey To live under a tainted law And give our dreams away We will find our way to freedom Even though we've been denied We will rail against the system 